I've got a couple of words to throw at, at you in uh, Sanskrit. One is called Jama or Yama, Y-A-M-A, -A, and the other one is called Niyama. This Jama and Niyama are actually the first lesson in yoga, and they are really a guide to human conduct. Uh, they're listed in five points in Yama and five points in Niyama. The purposes of all these ten points is really to bring the mind <coughs> into a stable and strong platform for the performance of meditation. Without these points, uh, it is very, very unlikely that uh, deep meditation can be achieved. I don't think that it can. It might, in some cases. So, you know, here in the West, uh, yoga is a multi-million dollar, maybe a billion dollar industry. And uh, in India, uh, yoga is also a very confused and, and, and misguided and misused uh, institution. Uh, I know Hinduism uh, claims that uh, yoga is the pearl of Hinduism, <laughs> but actually yoga predates uh, Hinduism. In fact, it predates some of the oldest uh, religions in India, the Shivite religion. Uh, it's very new here in the West, and um, it's been taken and, and taken for a ride, shall I say, uh, with the charlatans and money makers. And I'm sorry about that. Here in the inner circle of yoga, we're we're inviting you to come into the inner circle and to learn it. Um, like I say, the points of human conduct are very, 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 very important, and. Um, so that's all I'm going to say with them. I'm going to put up a slide and read a description of these five points. Now, <clears throat> there are the expanded descriptions of these points, and we can go in to talk about them uh, at length, and maybe we should. For example, uh, the first one uh, is called uh, Nonviolence, which was made uh, famous by Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King. But their interpretation of uh, nonviolence and the yoga interpretation of nonviolence are not exactly the same. For example, uh, if someone invades your house, then nonviolence is not the action to take. You need to protect yourself. So, what does this mean? This, this, uh, what does it mean? So, the purpose of this tape in, in these two parts is try to get you to understand uh, the logical, rational, modern. Uh, description of these ancient, ancient practices that yogis have done for many thousands of years. Well, I've talked too much, so let's get started. We'll start with the five points of yama, avoidances in spiritual practice. Number one, nonviolence means to try to live in such a way as to cause the least amount of suffering to other living beings. Number two, benevolent truthfulness means to think and speak for the welfare of living beings. Number three, non-stealing means not to steal from another by thoughts, words, or deeds. Number four, this is a big one, divine perception means to try to realize that nothing is crude. That is, everything is a condensation of pure cosmic consciousness from the smallest particles to human beings. This is basically a pantheistic view, but with the full realization that everything is the progeny of a single progenitor or personal concept of God. The symbolism of the waves on the ocean and the ocean being a unified body of water is helpful. Another helpful symbolism would be the river and the sea. The merger of the two is what is meant by the word yoga. Number five, simplicity means to maintain mental balance by not 
over-accumulating material objects that clutter the mind. This also implies that the finite resources should be used in a progressive and just manner.